Hi, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk once again about how much money I make with apps. <laughs> Okay, one of the questions I get asked most frequently in the comments is how much money do you make each month or how much money do you make each day, right? And I, I've answered this question before and I've talked a lot. I've tried to be very transparent about how much money I make and I usually refer them back to a video I did last August, uh, August 2017 called Can You Make Money With Apps where I just showed you my daily revenue report and how much I was making uh, through, from the apps, through passive income through the apps from different sources. So what I was making from AdMob, uh, iTunes Connect, Google Play, uh, App Lovin', Facebook Audience Network, and it changes from time to time, but those are the ones I'm, I'm, I've been with for, for quite a long time now, right? And I do this for a few reasons. Uh, I, I did this for a few reasons. First of all, you guys say such kind things to me in the comments sometimes that I think, I don't want you guys to think that I'm more successful than I am. Someone asked me, it was a, a family member, like a niece that I, I don't see very often, asked if I was a billionaire. And I thought, you know, I got I to gotta chuckle out of this. I'm not a billionaire. I'm not even, I'm not a millionaire. I'm barely a 100,000 heir, whatever. So it's, it's still a work in progress, but, you know, when I get together with other app developers, one of the things we're always thinking about is, I wonder how much they, they make from their app. How much do they make from that app, right? And I was in a, a group of, I was in a mastermind once and somebody finally just said, look, I'm gonna ask the question everyone's thinking, how much money are you guys making from these apps, right? So, and we just went around and just talked about it in, in a closed group and it was just, it was kind of liberating because we knew, right? So, I wanna show you guys uh, an updated spreadsheet. So this, so the last one I did was back in August of 2017. So at six months ago, over six months ago, it's gone down a bit. So I wanted to give you an update of where everything is now. Uh, mainly, not to show off, because for some of you guys, uh, you, you, you might be making less than I'm making. Some of you guys are making more than I'm making, but I wanted to be completely transparent about that. So you know, for those of you who do watch the video every day, you know where I'm coming from and just be completely transparent. You might even offer me advice sometime, sometimes. I mean, a lot of you guys who are doing really well, you know, you, time to time you give me advice, it really works out and I really appreciate it. So have a look at my screen here and I'll just to see my updated uh, daily revenue report. So when I show you the one last August, it wasn't as bad as it is this month. So the daily revenue report is something that every morning uh, one of my team members, Rowena, will go to all the different sources and put everything into a spreadsheet so that I can see at a glance how much we're making. I mean, I, I check AdMob. To be honest with you, I check AdMob like three or four times a day. Not that I could do anything about it, but it's just sort of, you know, I do. I, I check it like I check email, right? So, uh, you know, just because because I do all right so uh, but you, you look here this is um this is where we are now uh, have a look at this column here on the left so we have over here we have the date we have the total in GBP in, in British pounds and for those of you who don't use British pounds uh, we have the exchange right here at the top which is 82 P is one dollar that's right yeah I always get it. Always get it confused. Even though I've been living here nearly 20 years, I still always doing the conversions for because every time I talk to family members and I'll, I'll mention something, they'll say, "How much is that in real money?" So anyway, so so that's to give you an idea of that. So if you look at this column here on the left, that's the, the total, and then we have broken up by AdMob, Google Wallet minus the 30% that they take out, uh, iTunes in U.S. dollars, but then we have it converted to uh, to pounds. And then we have App Lovin and App Lovin GPP, and then Facebook Audience Network, and that's in U.S. dollars. But we've kind of, I've kind of given up on on Facebook Audience Network, just because it was it was not delivering well for me. And now, I talk to other people who make a lot from Facebook Audience Network. So every so often, I'll go back and, and turn those back on just to see what it's like. But it, it, the reason I I turned it off was because it's for some of the lower level Android phones, like I'm, I'm talking like 2.3, uh, the SDK for Facebook Audience Network was not working. 
So I have two versions of the app out, one for lower version Android devices, one for higher version Android devices, even though hardly anybody goes to those lower versions anymore, but every so often I'll remove the, the Facebook audience network. And I think it asked for a, an additional permission that I didn't like using. So anyway, so, so that's it. So that's this month and this, it, the month's not over. I mean, this is a few days since it's been updated. All right, if I go, let's go through and look at January so we can get a, a, an idea of a, of a full month. So here you can see in January, AdMob has been very low. For the longest time, for like nearly two years, it was at 120 pounds each day. And the thing is, the impressions are still consistent. We still have the same level of downloads. We still have the same impressions, but our RPMs are much lower. And I'll go, in a few minutes, I'll, I'll show you why that is or why I think it is. So we go over here, we got uh, AdMob, we got Google Wallet. So and that could vary, you know, uh, up and down, but usually it's pretty consistent. Uh, and then we've got uh, iTunes Connect, so in-app purchases and app purchases. Uh, and then we've got, uh, uh, so yeah, in US dollars, and then we got Apple Oven. Again, Apple Oven is one that I just, every so often I'll switch it off. I mean, I had really good success with Apple Oven for quite a while, like 10 or 20, well, it was like 10 or 20 pounds a day, right? And then it just sort of, it just sort of dried up. And I don't know, maybe I need to update an SDK or something like that. And one of these days I'll get around to doing that, but you know, it is what it is. So, so you can see here for the month, uh, I made, uh, this is through passive income sources. Like I said, this is not, this is not uh, client work. So client work is, uh, is additional on top of that. So uh, we made 3,841 uh, over that month for apps that have already been on the market. You know, if I was, and I did a calculations, if I did a 40 hour work week as a developer or whatever, uh, that would have been 24 pounds an hour, which is, you know, as a developer, it's not that great, but for a lot of other jobs it is. Of course, I didn't do anything here. I spent, yeah, I spent the month working on client work, you know, uh, you know, talking, working with the team, talking to you guys every day, all that kind of stuff. So that was the passive in income sources going through. Now, this is actually really low. If you look at the reason why it's red here, it's because we have a we have a little bit of logic here that says if it's below 150 pounds in a day, it's red. If it's between 150 and 180, then it's white. Which was at, at one point that was what was expected, right? So, and if it, if it's above 180 or above 200, then it's uh, it was green. So those are like the really good days, right? Let me just show you really quick to give you an idea. A year ago, so January from 2017. Uh, here we go. January 2017, starting here. You can see here we got a lot of green, a lot of yellow, you know, and all white, and no red. So we we never had a day that was below 150 pounds. So that was that's kind of when I look at the the, the revenue and I think oh, it's so low lately. It's not low, low, but it's it's low for me. And like I said, some of you guys are going to look at this and you're going to pity me, thinking Eric. How do you live? Do you need some money, right? <laughs> We're doing okay. I'm doing all right, right? We're growing the team, all this kind of stuff. But the passive income sources, the apps are going down a little bit. You know, every so often we put, you know, put an update out there, and I haven't released anything brand new in quite a while. So it's it's still out there, still still earning. Now I talked about how the big reason the big reason for the going lower. I mean, if you look at in-app purchases and stuff like that, it's actually stayed about the same. The big thing going lower is AdMob. So, I, and I, I look at this all the time, right? Thinking, why is AdMob so low now? And the reason is not the impressions, it's not the number of downloads, those are all consistent. It's because the RPMs are lower. And one of the things, another question I always asked is, how can I increase my RPM? And I can't tell you, right? There's so many different, I mean, I could tell you lots of different things. It depends on the quality of the ads that you have being shown, the location that, that the app is in, um, you know, all kinds of different things. But let me show you one of the big changes that have happened to my biggest app over the last year. So here we go. Let's look at my dashboard. For the longest time, my biggest market was the U.S., right? I, in fact, I started thinking nobody else was using apps, right? Because the U.S. was like, like, like 70% of all my users and then it was Brazil because we translated into Portuguese and then the third one would always it was never the UK by the way which which explains why nobody I've never met anybody who's actually heard of my app right that I haven't told them about it right so uh so it's always been that and then uh you know lately it's India it's really taken off in India and so you can see here <laughs> the majority of the users are in India and India just has lower rpms right there's just there's not a lot of uh ad inventory over there or something but it's just it's just gone down a little bit i'm not i mean 
it's not great, but I'm not too upset about it because deep down I'm, I'm an app developer and the fact that people are using my app, I'm really thrilled about. I, I love the fact that, that that's actually happening. So, so, you know, but we could bounce back. Now, let me just show you some of the things on the ASO side. I'll go over to uh, App Annie, which is my favorite ASO tool. So you see here, it says India. Let me just show you the United States here. This is looking at uh, over the last, was this 90 days? Let's go to the last 90 days. And let's look at the keyword spy. Now spy is the biggest keyword uh, that, that I've had. It's the one that I always look. If I go into to Google Play, I'll, I'll type in spy and my app came up first for like years. It was fantastic, right? But it was in the title, it was in the description all over the place. And then when the when I was getting a bit uh, nervous about policy changes and I changed the name from Ear Spy to Ear Agent, I thought it would drop like the next day. I thought it would drop you know, days later and it still stayed consistent. It's only in the last few, like since the end of January that we really started to see it dip. This is the United States where only like in the last few weeks has it started to drop a little bit there to two, three, and four, right? It, it's really showing in the number of downloads. Let's look at uh, United Kingdom. Uh, it, United Kingdom, it, it hasn't been that favorable there. You know, it's, it's dropped, started dropping it around uh, the beginning of January. And then let's go back and look at India, which is, which, is, which is right now my biggest market, I guess. And then you can see here, it's, it's never really been the top one over in India, but we have had it translated into Hindi and all kinds of other languages. So, so anyway, that's it. That's where we stand today. That's trying to be completely 100% transparent. Like I said, I used to say this all the time, but I haven't said it in a long time. I am not an expert, right? I am, I am trying things out all the time. You know, a lot of times people will ask me uh, either through Skype or they'll send me emails or through the comments saying, can you tell me, you know, which ad network should I use? Uh, which, uh, should I go for apps or games? Should I, you know, what, what's a good idea to do? And, and all this kind of stuff to ask me to give them the, the secret. And for me, it's like, it's always experimenting, always changing. I, I consider it the same way that when my kids ask me it, when they're gonna microwave something, they say, hey dad, how long does this take to microwave? I'm like, I don't, put it in for a minute and then check it. If it's still cold, put it in for another 30 seconds, right? You just, you, you're testing things out, you know, and uh, you know, th that's just the way it is. That's the way, I think that's the way it's always gonna be because the app market is always changing. But you know, would you, if you guys have any advice there in, in that area, you can. And I'm very wary about people who, who are experts in the field, who, who can tell you they know everything. I was talking to a salesman uh, earlier this week where he was saying, you know, their, their big ASO service and it was super expensive and all promises and stuff like that. I just didn't quite, I just wasn't quite on board. You know, it'd be nice to think that somebody out there had all the answers, but I don't think anybody does. So anyway, I hope that's been helpful. Like I said, and again, please understand, I'm not trying to show off here. I'm just trying to be transparent, right? Uh, please let me know what you guys think in, in the comments. And uh, anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.